Hi everyone, my name is Charlie, and today I thought I would do something of the currently reading video. Because, you know, it's Friday, other people are doing Friday reads, I'm not sure whether I ever actually managed to do a Friday reads, which is why when I first started way back when, all the way back in the day, I did currently reading from get-go. Because currently reading is a lot easier than just setting it to one particular day. I'm in a different parking space today. You might not have noticed, I don't park in this space usually. This is where the manager parks, but whilst she's on holiday, I'm parked here completely by accident actually, because what had happened was I drove in to the car park and whereas I'd usually, you know, hey, morning, Mr. Magpie, that thing's a bit close. Clearly, it's because I'm in a different space. Usually, I'd be near enough to get into the space next to me. This is boring you, I know. But today, basically, I was over on the other end of the car park and I was like, bugger that. I ain't moving and manoeuvring all that much. I'm not reversing straight back over there because I don't think people would like a brick wall in the video. I'm coming here. I did actually endeavour to park in this space next to me, next to our container, but it's a bit windy today anyway, so if it, the wind gets up, the door blows open. I've already got what a dent on that side of my car, I don't want on this side either. Either as well. Anyway, the book that I'm currently reading is Rebecca by Daphne de Maurier. This seems to be a British booktuber favourite, and Simon over at at Savage Reads. I think he says that this is the book that got him back into reading fiction or something like that. Then everyone else has jumped on board and all the big British booktubers are all reading Daphne du Maurier. I've all had fun with Daphne du Maurier and I'm reading Daphne du Maurier and I was reading it because I was considering getting, you know, asking for the anniversary edition that's just come out and I ain't gonna lie. Um, 99 pages in, and currently I don't think that I'll be doing that. Um, I mean, I'll begin with my first reason, and personally, I'm, I'm, there's a glare on this because it's a library book, but personally, I am not the biggest fan of dreams in fiction. I'm not a big, big fan of dreams being used to tell stories, and that's what we get a lot of here. We get a lot of this unnamed narrator. Um, no, sorry, we don't get a lot of that here. We get that at the beginning of the book. We get a lot of this narrator in the first chapter dreaming that she's at Mandalay again, which I know everyone knows that first line, even if they haven't read the book, they know the first line about dreaming. But then I didn't realise that it was actually going to go into that bloody dream and talk about the dream. And then it goes back in time and it begins to tell this story and it's this frame narrative and I know they turned this into a film and because, oh, well I'm pretty sure they turned it into a film because my mum said she'd seen it. Um, but yeah, I'm just, must be a lot of dust in my bag. Um, anyway, I'm just not the biggest fan of it if I'm honest. I mean, as I say, I'm 99 pages in and so far we've had this unnamed narrator in some other country and then she's come back after marrying Maxime de Winter and people don't like this woman. Um, she, well, she's decided these people don't like her and I'm just there and I'm like, well, to be honest, love, I don't like her either because you're making out like you're incompetent. Um, you know, like you're there like, oh, I don't want to go to anybody's way. Oh no, I don't, I want to be shy and I want to be retiring because I'm yet so young. That's not a bloody excuse. Bloody hell, get a backbone. I need my characters to have a bit of spine in them. And I'm worried that this book is just going to end up a bit like Wuthering Heights. And anyone who is anyone who knows anything about me knows that I can't stand Wuthering Heights. Um, you know... I've tried, and I've tried, my mother's a Cathy, my last name's Ethicote, you think that it would be like some big thing as though Emily Bronte had actually written that book, but, it, well, she had, rather, but had written that book for me, um, but no, and do you know what really, really, really annoys me, is this unnecessary description throughout the whole thing as though de Maurier decided she just wanted to bulk her own words 
a bulk up of words with all this stuff about rhododendrons. I don't need to hear about rhododendrons. I don't care about rhododendrons. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish it to see whether it does improve, to see just what all the fuss is about. Uh, I've got some idea in my mind of where this is going to go, but I'm not sure whether that's what's going to happen or not. I do think that a few writers writing today did take inspiration from Rebecca in some ways with the character of Mrs Danvers. I was reminded of Johan's sister in The Miniaturist and I've seen like a few other things in here replicated and obviously you know I suppose that's some sort of flattery for this author but I just don't get it. At the moment you never know in 320 pages when I finish that book I could be coming to you telling you that I have found a new favourite. I don't think I will be coming to you and saying that I think I've found a new favourite, but I could be. Anyway, considering this wasn't a review of that book, and I've only talked about 99 pages and we're six minutes in, I am very aware of time schedules and how much I'd be cutting out of these videos if I could just edit them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've read this book, please let me know in the comments and tell me your thoughts. And until next time, that is all.